Since 1947, the World Affairs Council has become the preeminent global stage for world leaders and the public to inform, engage, and debate the most important issues of our time. It's your world. Get to know it. This era is already changing the multilateral landscape. Opening doors long shut, restarting conversations long ceased, and giving new impetus to efforts to address our most vexing shared challenges. From classic security challenges such as nuclear proliferation to new concepts of security such as the threat posed by climate change. Ultimately, it is the decision to take these issues back to the United Nations and other international organizations to enable multilateral institutions to fulfill their intended roles that makes real the President's commitment. Turning to another issue, climate change is also an illuminating example. Here too, the President has charted a bold course, a key feature of which is investment in domestic action, something that can be viewed right here in California. At the same time, he has rep repeatedly underscored the need for bold global action on what must be a shared global response. As a result, he's triggered a fundamental shift in the U.S. approach to this issue, a shift which includes assuming a leading and constructive voice in the ongoing U.N. Framework Convention on Climate Change negotiations. These negotiations are intended and expected to yield a meaningful successor to the Kyoto Protocol, a result the United States is eager to see realized. We're working to intensify efforts to mediate conflicts and revive flagging peace processes, to expand the pool, capacity, and effectiveness of troop and police contributors, to help the UN mobilize critical enabling assets, such as field hospitals, engineers, transport, aviation, also to look at the uh, possible provision of more U.S. military officers, civilian police, and civilian personnel to UN missions, and increase attention to peace building activities, to, which can help build up na national government's capacity to take over when you are, uh, take over from UN peacekeepers, particularly in the realms of governance, security, and the rule of law. So, ladies and gentlemen, I do not want to leave the impression that the administration believes engagement renders all adversaries powerless and overcomes all obstacles. There will be setbacks. N member states will disagree. Diplomacy is not a zero-sum game, and diplomacy harbors both discord as well as harmony. As the President has said, the UN is imperfect, but yet an indispensable organization.